Hi, my name is Brian Miller and I'm the lead advanced practice provider for pediatric urology here at Children's Hospital Colorado. Um, I'm honored to be here today to talk a little bit about the management of nocturnal enuresis. So bedwetting is a common chief complaint for patients presenting to primary care, urology, nephrology, and other practices. Although nocturnal enuresis caused by an anatomic and or physiologic pathology is uncommon, monosymptomatic nocturnal enuresis can still be a source of significant stress and result in quality of life concerns. Monosymptomatic enuresis refers to patients struggling with bedwetting without any daytime urologic symptoms. Thankfully, monosymptomatic nocturnal enuresis is rarely rooted in an anatomic or physiologic pathology. The pathophysiology behind nocturnal enuresis is multifactorial. It is generally well accepted that bedwetting is strongly related to sleep patterns as deeply sleeping children are more likely to struggle with bedwetting. Deeply sleeping children are less likely to be responsive to the ascending signals or urges sent from the stretch receptors in a filling bladder, which results in bedwetting. At five years of age, roughly 15% of children will struggle with bedwetting, and at age 15 or older, 1% of teenagers still have persistent nocturnal enuresis. The decision to proceed with interventions is largely dictated by patient and family quality of life concerns. If the child is older than six years of age and distressed by the occurrence of bedwetting, interventions may be appropriate. It is important to note that there is no specific age when bedwetting is considered quote unquote abnormal. If wetting is isolated to times of deep sleep, this is most often still considered a normal variant regardless of age. If neither the child nor the parents find bedwetting distressful, observation for spontaneous resolution is always appropriate. Behavioral interventions can be impactful, and these include voiding regularly during the day, double voiding before bed, fluid shifting or drinking water earlier in the day and minimizing fluids one to two hours before bed, and of course, passing stools daily. One of the most effective treatment options with respect to potentially achieving a permanent solution are bedwetting alarms. The rationale behind these devices is that if the child can be roused from sleep in the moment they are voiding, they are waking when the urge or signal to void is present. Repeatedly waking in this precise moment is thought to condition the child to wake in response to that urge to void. The most common reason bedwetting alarms fail is because children don't effectively wake to the alarm. Parents can assist with this process by ensuring the child is fully awake after the alarm goes off. Desmopressin, or DDAVP, is often the first-line pharmacotherapy choice for monosymptomatic nocturnal enuresis. Desmopressin is a synthetic analog of vasopressin and thus concentrates urine during sleep. The result is less urine production during the night. Desmopressin is most commonly administered in tablet form. DDAVP is commonly thought of as a temporary solution, whereas the bedwetting alarm is working on a more permanent resolution. However, this downplays the important role DDAVP can play in the treatment of nocturnal enuresis, as it effectively addresses social concerns such as sleepovers, vacations, or other social situations. Additional options that may be considered by the urologic team include anticholinergic medications, or transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, or TENS treatments. We may also consider referral to our ENT colleagues for additional evaluations, as including sleep studies. Most importantly, if wetting is isolated to periods of sleep, it is extraordinarily uncommon to be the result of an anatomic or physiologic problem and will most often resolve with time. With that said, there are options to accelerate resolution or even help minimize symptoms to improve quality of life. If you want more information or have questions about this information, please see our website or feel free to call the number on the screen.